Hi, this is your math professor, Barbara Rademacher, and we're working with circles right now. Circles have their own formula. If you think of a circle, we think of the center, not much of a center, and the edge, which is right there, and the distance from the center to the edge is called the radius. And the center, if you're graphing it, is at the point H K. Okay, well the formula for any circle is x, that's an x, minus h squared plus y minus k squared equals r squared. Ran out of room there. Let's try it again x minus h squared plus y minus k squared equals r squared. So be able to be able to write a circle in its formula form, all you need to know is the center and the radius. So we know that from this problem, there's the center, there's the radius, I'm going to say that the equation is x minus 1 squared plus y minus negative 3 squared equals 1 fifth squared. Well, we need to clean that up a little bit. x minus 1 squared plus y plus 3 squared equals 1 25th. That's your answer for this problem. Now let's try this. We want to find the equation for the circle with the center here and it's passing through this point. So let's do a quick little graph. 1, 2, 3, negative 1. So here's the center. And it's passing through the point negative 3, negative 2. So if this is negative 1, we'll have negative 2 and negative 3, and then negative 1, negative 2 right here. negative 3, negative 2. And this is the point negative 1, 3. All right. Well, if this is the center and the circle passes through this point, that means this is on the edge. So this is the radius. We have to find out how long the radius is. So we're going to use the distance formula. r equals the square root of y2 minus y1. So let's say negative 2 minus 3 squared plus x2 minus x1 squared. So negative 3 minus negative 1 squared. Like that. No. Nope. Like that. All right. So r is going to equal negative 5 squared plus this is going to be negative 3, well, you've got negative 3 minus negative 1, that'll be plus 1. So this will be negative 2 squared. And so r is going to be the square root of 25 plus 4, which is 29, the square root of 29. And so r square is going to be 29. 
So our equation is going to be, that is our formula, is going to be x minus negative 1 squared plus y minus 3 squared equals 29 which, since this is the radius, the radius squared, remember, equals 29. So here is our, our final official answer. x plus 1 squared plus y minus 3 squared equals 29. Okay, you mull that over. And remember, you can always pause this. You can replay it. Now, let's find an equation for a circle with the center here at negative 4, 6. And it touches the y-axis. So, if we were to graph that, would have negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, negative 4, and then up 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, eek, 5. Ah. All right. Well, it's up there somewhere. Anyway, the important thing right now is how far is this circle from where it touches the y-axis? It is 1, 2, 3, 4, Right, one, two, three, four. The radius is four units long. That's what really counts. So if we're going to say x minus h squared plus y minus k squared equals r squared, we'll have x minus negative four is x plus four. plus y minus 6 squared equals 4 squared, which is 16. Maybe I should write that, though. And there's your equation. Okay, now, find the center and radius of this circle and then graph the circle. My graphing is abysmal. All right, here we have x squared plus y squared equals 25. Well, if we can think of that in terms of x minus h squared plus y minus k squared equals r squared, then you can see that we would have, well, x minus 0 squared. Since we haven't got x minus 3 or anything like that, we would have x minus 0 squared plus y minus 0 squared. 25 equals 5 squared. So the radius is 5, but the equation would be this, or I guess I should say 5 squared. 5, not, a, not an R, 5. All right, so the center is going to be at 0, 0, and the radius is going to be 5 units long. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Put a dot. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Put a dot. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Put a dot. And 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Put a dot. And we will make up. Uh, my circles are always horrible. All right, just get used to it. That's not too bad. There's the circle. The radius is 5, the center is at the point 0, 0. 
OK. And finally, we're going to graph this circle. You can tell that if we think in terms of x minus h squared plus y minus k squared equals r squared, then what we're going to have is x minus 7 squared plus y minus negative 5 squared, that's how you got the plus here, equals 2 squared. So the center is at the point 7, negative 5, <clears throat> and the radius is 2 units. So now all I have to do is find the point 7, negative 5. So here's negative 5, and here's 7. Okay, well I don't have enough room over here, but I certainly have room over here. Are we, oh, I do have enough room, don't I? Because the radius is 2. So 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, and 1, 2. Now let's draw the circle. And we're done.